Yay. Our final, okay. final, your result. final, final. That one. That way I can sort of pass out a little bit. Yeah. Well, it's hard anyway. Pick up the cash. I will. So it's two days. It's always on a Sunday. It's always like two days later. I can feel it. Yeah, you get up and then you realize it's hard to stand up for two days. Not yet. I'll just cry all the time. I'll be mad. Yep. Yeah. Cortisol. Yeah. 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 So remember, it's everything you learned this term. I'm going to walk you through the, the question. But again, similar to the, all the tests you had. Just one more time with a different question. But same idea. So question one is on how you breathe. So walk me through, if I want to inhale, walk me through how I make that happen. Right? So, my my diaphragm is going to go this way. My pressure is going to go that way. And then so it goes this way. Ventilation, not respiration. Ventilation, yes, to be formal. Pulmonary ventilation. Right. Oh, there's three on that one. Lots of arrows, like up and down kind of <laughs> arrows. Right. You can use words too. <laughs> so my second question is on air sacs, alveoli. So you know, if I were an alveolus, what would I be like? If I weren't like that, what would happen to you? Think of smoking killing you, right? That kind of thing. Right? So what happens at my air sac? Just well, there's about five for that one. So give me an equation at the air sac. What would you expect to see chemically at the air sac? Egad, there's a curve. It looked like the one I erased over there. Wow. You have to interpret. A damn curve. Right? So if I gave you the curve, could you tell me how much oxygen is being unloaded or loaded at this body part? So can you basically reinterpret the curve? Is it shifting right or shifting left? Like one question. There are three. Using a curve. Using a curve. So I have a big bunch of boxes with yeses and nos dealing with the digestive system. So you have to know the boxes. Does this organ do that? Does it do that? Does it do some of that there? It's the, chart. the chart, digestive chart. Do you chemically digest an esophagus? Please say no. Okay. And now, does it have an enzyme to digest this? Does it have an enzyme to digest that? So it's just yeses or noes. A lot of them. I have a question on sphincters, just because you know I am one, right? But the sphincter question. I love sphincters. I only have five. Which sphincters? <laughs> um, one below your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Just one, just one question on sphincter. So where is it? What would happen if it was open or closed? That kind of thinking, you know. Like your anus. Um, no, my anus is not the one I'm opening or closing in this example. Without any question, pick a sphincter on Jonathan, and you know, shove something in. All right. So number six, I think we're on. I've given you some foods, and this is where I'm going to ask you some of the chemistry about it. So what enzyme is digesting, you know, the bun in the hamburger? Where would you absorb the water in the milkshake? That kind of thing. Right? Which one uses bile? Which one needs a buffer? Which one turns on this hormone? Does the CCK go up or down? The phases, is that going to make you, you know, all that kind of stuff. So the walk, if I gave you a meal, if you could tell me everything about the meal in terms of what organs are on and off, what oh. hormones are making. Digestive phases. Digestive phases. Right. That'd be fine. You just covered not. everything with that. Yeah. I could. Oh, that one goes on forever, it seems like. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. Oh, gosh. I think I could Thank <laughs> you.
Good. I have a question on the genesis and lysis words. So a real basic question on what does that word mean or when do you do that? So if I'm in glycogenolysis, what does that mean? When would I be doing that? What am I doing in that space? I have a question on the effect of water, like dehydration, so the steps of that. So for example, you know, if I'm dehydrated, what would my ADH do? What does my channels do? What does my kidney do? What does my urine do? All that, can you walk me through what would change in all those patterns? So after the flu, John, the urine was really hard. I have a couple of urinalysis questions. So what should and should not be in B? And what does it mean if it is? So think of all the things that should and should not be in urine. And what does it mean if it's over there? And why would that be true? I do have one GFR question. Real basic question. Then I have one, two, three, four. I have four acid base balance questions. I know you love them so. Right. On some of them I've given you what it is, you gotta, you know, is it gonna shift this way, that way, like we did today? On some of them I've given you just numbers, and you gotta do the math and tell me what the numbers are telling you. So again, you do have to remember all those values for normal in which ways would ever. All right. I have three questions on the reproductive chart. So what do the parts do? Are they inside or outside? Is it a boy or a girl? That's that kind of level. You decide to cut off Jonathan's penis. Poof. What, you know, is that in or out? Right, whatever. You would never do that to me, would you? Not before the test. All right. So I have a question on the male reproductive hormones. So what do those hormones do in a male? If his sperm counts up, what would this one do? If his sperm counts down, what would this one do? Where is this one made? Can you say the male reproductive hormones? Yes. I also have a question on the male reproductive glands. So if Jonathan doesn't have a prostate, what would that do? And why would he care? Uh, I have two on a hormone and one on the gland. Extreme. <laughs> okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six questions on the menstrual cycle. So make sure you can walk through the whole ugly thing of the menstrual cycle, right? <laughs> Pituitary to the ovary to the uterus. That was it. This, yeah. So, what hormone is going up here? What hormone is going down here? It's luteal or follicular, all that kind of stuff. Right. Okay, then I have some pregnancy questions. So, I have questions on the timeline of pregnancy. So, what happens in week one? What happens in week two? What are you in week three? What are you in week eight? What are you, you know, kind of walk me through. What those, what words are used in those time frames? Um, I have two of those. I have a question on why you don't menstruate while you're pregnant. You should know the answer by now. It is what? <laughs> HCG. Okay. So be able to walk me through HCG. Why don't you menstruate while you're pregnant? What is, where's that coming from? Why? Is it Okay, I have a question on the placenta. What's it do? Why do you need one? Just the placenta itself. I have two questions on the placental hormones. So what are those hormones you learned about last week, and what are they for? <coughs> and I have 
two questions on the gastrulation, the germ tissues, whatever you want to call them. So where are the three tissues? What do they make? And what do those make kind of thing? I do have one teratogen question. What? A teratogen question? Tetra. The, the black chart from last week? Oh. Um, so what do we need to be more specific on that? That. So I know you don't get the chart, you know. but if I gave you something like, you know, like this first question here, could you explain to me why the second trimester is not in that first? But we don't get the chart. You don't get the chart. <laughs> you know why it's worse than first? It's in my heart, right? But that's the chart. No, so how do we know? But we already know that all the organs. <coughs> right. Okay. Right. That's the logic. Right. So I'm not going to ask you when when limbs are black bar. The idea is why are they black in week five and not in week twenty? That's the concept you learned with this exercise, right? That's the concept. But we'll use that concept. As hard as you think it is. Conceptual. Can you go back up to the top of that? I can. Okay. Now, I do have one lactation question dealing with the stuff we learned today. It's a very kind of general lactation question. Maybe even a graph. I'm sorry, what was the last one? Lactation. Let me go back through it and make sure I. No, it was flu bed or something. How many lactation questions? No, just one. How many points overall? Uh, right now it's looking around 75. Is that it? You know, I'll feel different when I feel better and I'll get it. Is lactation it? Okay, so rest your time is yours as you're already taking care of that. So, be back on Friday. <laughs> Are you gonna need your homework? Will you not hand them in yet? Yeah, you should have a long time now. I'm going to